guys what is going on welcome back to another car review video i know it's been a while since we did a car review video it's been a few months i think no a few weeks but uh today i have this beautiful car for you that i have never really gotten before i never really drove before it's it's oh this beautiful range rover oh man well let's get right into it all right this beautiful 2018 range rover black Range Rover it's it's oh my god just look at this thing you know it's funny because I always see these cars on the road but I never get a chance to actually get in one or drive one or see how it is you know but it's it's oh, it's a nice SUV it's a nice luxury SUV the wheels are nice big meaty tires I like that and these are the key fob let me show you guys the key fob real quick side so this is the key fob we'll we'll get right so this key fob it looks like a jaguar's key fob what's cool is if you lock the door you guys see that Hold on. and you can't even like no one could break into your car unless they have like a screwdriver and just you know but that is so cool all right <laughs> so moving on um the back of the car looks very nice. It's a Range Rover Velar. Velar, Velar, P250. This looks so aggressive. Oh man, it looks so aggressive. And this is the smaller, see, this is the size Range Rover that I like, like that I like the most. The bigger Range Rovers, I like them too, but not as much as I like the smaller ones. You know, like these are like the perfect size for like a, you know, just a normal family. If you want to look nice. I like these in white. Oh my God, it's so nice and white. All right. Well, let's go ahead and let's get into the car. Yeah, the black is really dirty. This car needs a car wash. But let's go ahead and let's get right into it. All right. Like this is such a nice touch. Not every car comes with this type of hair. Get you guys a little closer. Look at that. Look at that. Looks very nice. You have the Velar system in the car. Just, oh my God, the interior. And it has dual screens. And you're greeted by that Land Rover sign until you start up the car. The steering wheel looks so nice. And here's the back door. And here you have the back seats just so nice and smooth and so comfy i really like them a lot and then back here you have the dual you have the dual acs for the people in the back of course you have the cup holders also it's very nice you have a very huge trunk space look at that it's like a huge, like, this trunk space is just ridiculous. That's crazy. Here's the other passenger side. All right. And then lastly is the rear passenger. Let me give you a good look of the interior from the back. So if you're sitting in the back of the car, if you're sitting in the back of the car, this is where you get to see. So nice, like, look at that. All right? So let me go ahead and open the hood and then we'll start the car and get into the goodies, all right? All right, so I'm inside the car. Once you're inside, you're all nice and snug. So feet on the brake and Just try to give you a shot of everything. See, that's cool. The radio go ahead and just turns in front. It's facing you. And then this actually pops out like in the Jaguars. So, uh oh. Forgot the radio was on. So, this screen at the bottom, it's whoa. It's basically your climate control and your vehicle. 
All right, you guys know what climate control is, you know, with all the ACs and everything. But let me just, whew, it's hot. So let me just, yeah. See, you touch that. Turn it down. You could turn the AC off or on. So you press the vehicle up. Oh, too much. Press the vehicle and it gives you all of the different selections. You got the dynamic program. You have the eco mode. The comfort mode. The grass, gravel, snow. The mud. And the sand. Yo, this is... I mean, I, I mean, really, a sand. Like, where I live... I live in Orlando, Florida. There is no really sand. No desert to go off-roading in. But, you know. We'll just keep it in that. And then there's the settings right here. For if you want to change it up a bit. Like, the climate. You want to change up the climate. Just a few little settings. Not too much stuff. All right. And then on this screen up here, this is basically the radio and everything else. All right, the home will give you all that you can choose from up here. Basically, it's it's the same setting as the um, it is the same setting as the Jaguar, basically. All right, and then over here, if you press this button, you have an extra cup holder. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And you lift these up. This is just a little extra space to put your stuff in. Oh, the outlets, sorry. The outlets are in here also. The outlets are in here also, just so you guys can. All right. Now, this right here is the dash. Looks pretty nice, you know. The car's pretty quiet. You know, it's nice and red and it's, see how it shows that the hood is open? So I went ahead and I opened the hood and if I open the door, you see? So every, so any little red marks means that the car, that a certain part of the car is open and you know that like you have to close it basically, you know? You have the beautiful Range Rover sign right here. This is pretty, this is a nice little touch. You know, if you want to change, just go ahead and press that. If you want to call anybody, the resume, just cancel. All right, that is that is pretty cool. This car is pretty nice. I, I really like this. And this is my first time like inside of one of these cars and it drives like a dream, you know, it drives smooth. There is no roughness around it. It's a nice SUV. And to be honest with the, the 170 on the dash, which is weird, 130, 150, 170, that's weird. This, this, this is weird. It, it usually goes up to like, you know, two, four, six, eight, ten, 10, and then all that. But this one, this one doesn't, but so that's weird. But uh, it's a nice drive. I really love it. The car is very beautiful. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the top right here. So these are the lights. And it also, it has a sunroof. Oh. Go all the way, man. There you go. Like, do you see the size of this sunroof? Like, what are you gonna do with this long ass sunroof? Right? Just close it back up. Just let it vent out. Push that back. All right. So let me show you guys the engine and then close up this video, okay? All right, so we're back outside. Let me go ahead and open up the hood. To open the hood, it's right in the middle, right here. And it goes up by itself. I like that. So here's the engine. It's a little dusty, but you know, it's still a nice engine. It's a big engine too. So since this is pretty much Jaguar, I mean, I hate comparing cars because, you know, people are like, no, it's not Jaguar, it's, Land, it's Range Rover. I know, but the features are pretty much the same, but I'm not gonna say the engine is the same too, okay? It's it's not the same. I don't wanna get, you know, people arguing and fussing and look, all right? But it's a nice engine. It's big engine too. 
You have your air intake right there. Right there you have your coolant. See, I can't understand if this is the battery or... No, so, so these are the fuses. The battery, I think I think the battery is in the back, somewhere in the back, because in these cars, the battery is usually in the back. But, hey, oh well. All right, guys, so that is it for this video of the beautiful 2018 Range Rover Velar. Velar, Velar, I think I said it right. Guys, go ahead on my channel. I started... That's my beautiful car right there. Go ahead, I started working on it and posting up the videos. I know that right there, don't worry about that. That's gonna get fixed. But if you have a 2007 to 2012 Nissan Altima and you wanna do some stuff to it, then I'm your guy, all right? Like, comment, subscribe. I have more videos coming for you guys. So thank you so much, stay blessed, and I'll see y'all later, all right? Peace.